Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I just want to show you some toys I got from uh, eBay lately. So this one is the um, KNN air filter for the my Raptor 700. I have the um, 2011 special edition one, the black one. So as you can see, there is a KNN logo. Um, it is, I think it's called an open uh, air filter. Uh, it should um, it should replace my default one. I don't like to oil it, it uh, much, and you need to do it uh, very frequently. With this one, as I most as as I understand, you don't need to do it every ride. I uh, also and you got more uh, airflow to the engine, which is it's good in the intake. So this is the air filter. It got like. I think it was uh, squeezed by the box in the shipping or something. It got shipped from the USA to Israel, so that's a long distance, a long trip for him, for it. So um, it's nothing too bad, you know. That's okay. So we got this metal ring which allows you to tight the air filter on the mount adapter. Uh, you just need to use a screwdriver also I got with us uh, some kit it's like a mounting uh, ring so you can uh, mount all the stuff all this um, sorry so you can mount this uh, air filter on the um, in inside the air lid air box lid so uh, this those are the instructions so it's KNN part number YA7 006 if you wondered what the part number you need to order for your um, Raptor 700 so I I was searching for this part number because I saw on eBay some other um, air filters that should fit the Raptor 700 I wasn't sure about the, um, the model itself that's why I took like this one but with some other IDs so I wasn't sure if it will fit or won't fit. So you got this one, I think it's um, some stainless steel or something. It's very lightweight. You can see there is a KNN logo on it. So this ring, this mount will go inside the air box. Okay, lid. So, and uh, in, you got some screws to mount the adapter ring with uh, those screws. So all you need is to use uh, some uh, screwdriver and that's it you have it mounted on it like this just a second let me put the microphone I'm, I'm using an external mic and it's kind of heavy so I have only one end to use in the video you can see this is the mic so <laughs> it's huge so just a second okay so basically you have this the air filter going to be mounted here okay so it's going to be mounted here no sorry on this side it could be mounted like this and this one would be mount to the air box lid here is the it, there is the intake pipe okay so that's it guys uh, the instructions are great it should take something like a uh, thing 15 or 20 minutes you know with the taking off the the air box lid you need to take it off and then after it you need to mount it back with a new air filter by the way i'll also um order this this per air filter canon also okay um i read on the internet that it should be water resistance and i sorry not water resistance there is something else i forget this word like it should not allowed uh, water to get inside uh, in a very short period of time if it w if the, um, the, dr the water will sit on it okay so I did some tests um, and I actually got some cup of water uh, got the prayer filter what I did I just put spill the water on the air filter and check if something something is able to get through the the pre air filter which nothing was able to to get through this so that's great 
I think it will do the job for anything. Uh, it should also be good for dust, of course, because we are off-roading with the ATV. So it, it should do the job, so it will prevent from uh, dust to get inside this air filter and from water to get uh, inside it. Of course, you don't need to leave the, the ATV inside the, the water <laughs> because it will uh, cause damage to the, to the Raptor. Anyway. So you just need to put put it on it. It's very tight and it's like it takes some time. Let me try to show you. Just a second. Let's see if you can see it. Okay, I'll try my best. You need to open it, put one side, and then stretch it so it will fit. That's it. And now you need to just need to put it on the air filter once you get it on it won't, won't get off very easily so don't afraid to lose it or um, I don't know think may maybe you think it will be uh, it will come off the air filter when you're riding so it won't it's very very stretched on it <laughs> very very i think it can't pre oil this filter because there is some oil on my fingers right now so that's it it's just coming like this you need to take put it on all the edges of the air filter so it will be nice sit nice on the air filter and that's it um i'll try to do it as first as possible because I really missing my uh, Raptor. I didn't ride for four weeks, I think. So that's a long time. Um, I also need to replace some other stuff like my tires. I got the GBC uh, Race Masters. Uh, you see, I forgot even the, the tires I ordered. So I have four new tires to mount. I have this air filter to mount. Also, I got some um, ODI uh, hand grips to mount and hand guards. Um, right now, my Raptor is is not usable because the sprocket uh, rear sprocket hub got uh, loosened and it it broke and it it's broke. So if I'll hit the throttle. The, the rear axle just spins freely so basically it's shut down right now um, I need to fix it as soon as possible I'll try to do a video on mounting this air filter if I'll get my SJ or my new SJ because the previous one got eaten by my dog so basically when I got the new SJ I'll do more videos of riding and I'll try to record this uh, KNN filter mount um, when I'm mounting it on my Raptor and maybe uh, replacing the sprocket, the, sorry, the rear sprocket hub. <laughs> sorry for my English. Uh, so that's it basically. Um, I don't promise I'll do videos on that. It depends on on my camcorder and stuff. I'll try the best. Uh, that's it guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy. Um, if you have any comment, any question, I'll try to answer it. Have a nice day. Bye bye.